Hello everyone, and this is the Demon Forever welcoming you, welcoming you back to more Dark Souls. So we're near the end of the catacombs, and in the last episode I left you off and around this area. We fought a couple of skeletons, and now we travel further down. Yeah, I hate it when messages are sort of in front of stairs or in front of uh, levers. They just get in the way. So let's see what else is around here. More caskets and more ladders down. So to begin this episode, before we get anywhere important, uh, I wanted to talk about a new gaming website that I'm sort of uh, going to be part of, uh, more to on the writing side of things. And it and it's a pretty decent website. It's just started out, and it's called Rival Tide. And um, I'll provide a link in the description below. And basically, it's a gaming website that allows for you know, basically, uh, news about games, basically, news reviews, um, and various other articles about, uh, well, gaming related. So, I'm gonna be part of that website, and uh, so hopefully you guys can check it out. I'll leave a uh, a link in the description. And the other thing about the website is that it it also is gonna be an esports website. So. Basically, um, gaming competitions, and um, it hasn't really picked up on picked up on that aspect yet. We just started up, uh, but we do have a competition going on, and the reward is a uh, is a giveaway of a keyboard. So if you're looking for a keyboard, uh, uh, go to the site, and uh, it'll be in one of the features column, I believe, talking about. Uh, you just have to mention what your New Year's resolution is, and um, a winner will be chosen to receive a keyboard. Uh, and that's just a quick promo of a of a new website that I'll be part of. And but back into Dark Souls, and as you saw, we face some new enemy, some rolling or wheel skeletons kind of annoying because they can eat up your defense if you're if you're using a shield um, so you kind of want to avoid them where possible and not stand in front of them and absorb their attack because they can like I said eat through it and will injure you basically and there are quite a few in this section here and we've got these heads that explode. Luckily my magic is pretty decent here. I can kill them in one hit. And uh, since I... I'm not sure if the wheel guys are affected by the necromancer, but I killed him anyway, so... And he's early on, so you don't really face them without facing the necromancer first. So... I don't think it's much of a problem anyway. You can see some items on some cliffs, on some ledges, that we can't really access from where I am at the moment. So it looks like there are other hidden path pathways that you can drop down from to get to the items. I guess I missed out on them, unfortunately. Hopefully it's not too important an item. There's a pathway here. Oh, blacksmith. And if you actually listen closely, you can hear the blacksmith hammering something away in his in his cave. And actually, you can access him from here. If you remember in one of the previous episodes, I talked about how if you drop down from what, the stairway, you would fall into, you'd basically fall down and you'd meet a blacksmith. And that's the guy I was talking about. So. In the door or the brick wall will only open from inside. You can't open it from outside. So to meet the blacksmith, you actually have to 
fall down from the stairway I mentioned in the previous episode. That's another hidden thing that I didn't do in this section, which is a shame. I'll, I'm probably going to be coming back uh, here before the end of the game, so maybe I'll do more exploring then. This is also a knight up here, but it looks like we can easily take care of him, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it. He's just standing up there. Sweet! Okay. Can we get an item? A white titanite chunk. So I was messing around in the area, trying to figure out where to go, but there was no other pathway. I was actually trying to figure out a way into the blacksmith cave, but really, there was no way into it. So the only way was here, and we have a fog gate. A white light. This was kind of pointless because, as you'll see, it vanishes away. The homing's home mass vanishes away when you enter the fog. Unfortunate. I still haven't learned from that mistake. So, let's see what's up ahead. Looks like another big casket. Looks like we can drop down, but it doesn't look like it'll be easy getting back up. Hmm. Kind of a one way. I'm trying to jump onto the ledge there, but it doesn't look like I can. I lost a couple of my homing homers in the process, which is sad. Okay. Oh, we get a cutscene. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a boss fight. Some weird looking torture chamber, I guess. Okay. Some dude with like three heads or something. The pinwheel. Okay, now there are two enemies as well. Let's just go for the center guy since he was the first guy to appear. And he shoots fire, damn! Hey, my magic actually does quite a bit of damage. A lot of damage actually. Come on, come on, come on. This could be a quick fight actually. Ooh, he's vanished. Oh, but I managed to still kill him. Sweet, the arrow still hit. By the right of kindling. You may now kindle beyond the normal limit. Okay, sweet. Right of kindling and mask of child. Okay, that was rather a rather quick boss fight. Probably because I'm probably a bit over leveled for this area, really. But hey, in an open world, you can't blame me, really. So. So long as I guess you attack the main guy and disregard his his companions that appear. It's kinda like one of the boss fights in Demon Souls, isn't it? Just go for the main guy and forget his illusions and you'll be fine. So that was a quick boss fight, which means that this episode is gonna be a quick episode. It's been a while since I killed the boss on my first attempt. Whoa, this next area looks really dark. Let's, is there anything else here? Just walls. We've got all these um stones, glowing stones that I guess kind of mean to point you in the right direction. But it's really dark, and I've just, you know, defeated a boss and just gone through the catacombs. Basically, I don't know. This must be a new area or something. And I have the um magic spell that can cast light or something that can brighten up an area. So I was a bit worried about moving in this area without proper lighting, or at least since I had. Um, the spell I might as well use it, you know. 
and um, going back to a bonfire isn't that bad of an idea. I I can always use a homing or home wood boat, I think, that takes you back to the bonfire, the last bonfire you rested at. So that would be a good um, plan. But I wander around here for a bit and um, I'm trying to find if there's any other pathway um, to take out of here. And I end up exploring a bit the top of the casket here. In the right side. And there's a bit of a pathway here. Is there anything this side? Not really. So then it looks like there's a pathway here. It's pretty dark. So hopefully this doesn't lead to a trap or something. Yeah, and you see the other thing is I don't have that many soul arrows or Estus flask anymore, so and we have an item, sweet. The soul of a proud knight. And actually, uh, if you fall down there, that pathway below is actually um, the bottom section of the catacombs where I was just now fighting all those wheel skeletons. So basically, you could just drop back down and go back up to the catacombs and run back to the bonfire if you want. But I thought I'd hang around here a bit, try to see if I could be summoned into a fight. And it's still pretty dark. I'm still contemplating. Oh, there's an item up there. I'm still contemplating whether to go back and get my um, light spell. Because it's really dark and I don't want to die stupidly from falling down. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be summoned. I'm not going to wait a whole long time. Easy even here, I couldn't really tell what path to take. So I decided to cancel my summon and just use a homeward bound bone. And uh, this episode will be a short episode. I just wanted to show off the boss fight as short as it was. And in the next episode, I'll try to attempt going further into this dark area. And we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching, and um, check out the website I was talking about. It's called Rival Tide, and uh, join the giveaway competition if you want to. So here's you, me using the homeward bound, see homeward boom, to get back to the last bonfire, which would be the second bonfire in the catacombs. So that's all for this episode. This was a bit short. But hopefully it was okay with you guys. So thanks for watching. See ya.